Duke Traps, America's best trap value. Proudly presents... Welcome to North American Trapper. Today I get another opportunity to head with Eddie Dakin up to the Adirondacks in New York uh, doing some predator trapping. We're going to be out there chasing predators, trying to take some of these predators off of the land to ease some of that ground nesting bird and, and deer populations from being harassed through the winter. And ultimately, uh, Eddie, myself, we're going to show you methods, techniques that are going to help you pretty much anywhere across the country when it comes to trapping predators. It doesn't really matter if you're in a mountainous region Region, or if you're in you know flatlands or grasslands or down in Texas the methods and techniques that we're showing you are gonna really basically work for you anywhere across the country I wanted to demonstrate uh, a set we make out here in the Adirondack woods we don't have a lot of farm fields or open areas here so you kind of have to adapt to the way that the uh, canines work the forest here they they have their loops they make and I got an idea when they come around in this particular area so I try to use the most natural uh, scenarios like this old tree here these type of sets and I'm making will take Fisher and coyote so next I'm gonna get out my number two four coil Duke these are great trap and I use an earth anchor Bed my chain in that soft soil. Six inches back, center of the pan, just off to the right. Next, I'm going to pack the soil around it. Sift a little soil on it. And it's so warm out here that I'm not going to use a pan cover. And I don't, I'm not shy about not using a pan cover out here. Because I got peat moss. I just started using Alan's Mountain Man. And that is good stuff. I mean, I saw the results. We caught a coyote earlier today on it. And uh, Alan gave me what he had left. So I like the smell of it, too. And uh, I'm convinced by its uh, power to draw any animal in. So I like to bait from the rear. So that's what I'm going to do. Because just in case there's something full that I might not see, and a, a spoon, a regular spoon, a bigger one is better than this, what I have. But it's all I have at the moment because I just started using this. And I'm definitely going to be buying more of this for my line because it's unique to our area. I'm going to use a little covering over the bait I just put in there. And we'll just use a little duff and stuff. This bait is so good, uh, it'll just enhance and make it more enticing to any predator that might come through there. Now that's a mighty fine looking set and I feel confident that I'll catch the next coyote or fisher that comes by here. The Trapper of the Week is Reagan Dry Bilbus with a nice red fox taken with her father Mike in a dirt hole in southeastern Pennsylvania. Congratulations, Reagan, and get your chance to be Trapper of the Week by visiting us at NorthAmericanTrapper.com. Handling nest raiders is our specialty, and you can become the steward of your own land with our North American Trapper Scent Package, which includes our Coon Buster DP Bait and Magnet Trailing Scent. Our sweet scented trailer will draw them in where our Coon Buster will then take over, and its soaked crawfish essence will entice those nest raiders to work the trap consistently. Look no further than our North American Trapper Combo Scent Package for all your predation control needs. North American Trapper. Proven products. Proven conservation. Welcome back to Duke Trap's presentation of North American Trapper with Alan Probst. Here we are on the outside of a beaver flow. And we got ourselves a wild one. Nice looking coyote from here. 
Yep. Got him in that Duke 550. And he's not mangy. That's amazing. That is a pretty dog. Good front chest. We got ourselves a nice coyote here. Beautiful fur coat. Looks like a young one. Paws all the way in that number two Duke. Um, this is just outside of Beaver Flow. Uh, they, I've been doing some nuisance work here and I've noticed that coyotes were using a dam. Everything uses a dam. Coyote, fisher, cats. And I thought this would be a good opportunity to put a set here. This here is a good tall stand of pine, red pine, and there's some old fruit trees in here. And I've noticed a lot of woodcock in here and grouse. So I'm sure he's had his share of those nesting birds. They do an awful lot of damage to the ground birds. So the beaver are gone and uh, the water's dropped. So the coyote and the other animals are using it quite a bit. So it's getting dark and we want to take care of this coyote quick. And we have that fissure as well. So we're going to be busy tonight. And we still got more traps to check. Again, I'm grateful that uh, I caught this coyote. And I thank the powers that be that I got him. Beautiful. Just beautiful dirt. Okay. Get some of that good loam in here. Now, if you notice, my trap pan is center mass six inches and off to the right like a half an inch. Right there. Just off to the right a little bit. So I take it back out because I know it's going to fit. Now I will attempt to hammer it in there and we'll see what happens. I love these carpenter's hammers. This was Johnny's actually. <clears throat> Double check, six inches. Okay. So now we'll put a little dirt around there. Barehanded. Okay. Your hands are clean. And as long as they don't smell like food, that's really the big thing that's gonna make them dig food. You know, if you just had a big submarine sandwich and then go set traps with oil and mayonnaise on your hands, you got problems. A little peat moss. A little more dirt. Stump that down so it's solid there because the only step he's going to take is on that pan, and that's all I'm worried about. As long as it's tight around the outside of them jaws, and it's loose on that pan, I don't care, because that's the last step he's taking. I have started a few years ago from luring from behind, um, if I can get behind it. It can be awkward sometimes, but you avoid the chance of dropping any unseen lure on your set. So... I do that and there's enough uh, organic material around here whereas I don't have to try to guide him with sticks or rocks or any of those other things just a little bit of skunk on the top there or I'll just drop it right in the hole right down in there try not to get any on your hands and then I'll take another stick and put it up here in one of the trees so it can blow around. Now this set would very easily take a fisher, even a martin. I'm taking martin in sets like these too. That's another story. <laughs> All right. And that's it. We're out of here.
North American Trapper Predation Packages. Get any one of our specific trapping packages that has been ultimately designed to help you become the master predation controller of your farm, ranch, or hunting lease. Control the predators that are costing you time and money and get out there trapping today with one of our North American Trapper Predation Boxes. All of the packages come with the trapping essentials to get you out in the field, plus an instructional DVD that will show you the way. Visit us at NorthAmericanTrapper.com and start breaking dirt today. Welcome back to Duke Trap's presentation of North American Trapper with Alan Probst. We got a few coyote sets out here in the woods and we got this nice pond here and I noticed there were some beaver here so I figured I'd take advantage of it and uh, set it up to try to get some bait and uh, I see we got one here. I'm gonna get down here and pull them in. Uh, let's see here. Oh, he's out there. Doesn't look like a real big one, juvenile. Yeah. Woo. There he is. Oh, I got him in that 44 front foot catch. I just love these traps. I wish they were still making them. Uh, I use the beaver caster uh, for lure making and the glands. And there he is, all right up there. And uh, casters are bringing good money. The oil sacks, all canines love those uh, oil sacks. I add them to any uh, homemade lures that I'm making myself. So while we still have some open water, I will reset this trap and hopefully we'll catch another one. And in the meantime, We'll make a few more coyote sets around here. There's definitely some fisher in this area as well, so we'll be taking a look at that and see how that'll go. We have a warm day. We're gonna take advantage of it while we still can. All right, so I got this railroad plate here and I'm gonna throw that out there like that, just like a guitar string. I'm gonna pull that trap out. All right. I always wear gloves when I set these big traps, just in case I get my finger caught in them, so uh, I don't pull off too much skin. Otherwise, uh, it can be quite painful. These 44s, you can set them right over on your knee like that. And I always make sure I push the pan up from underneath. Okay, we got that trap planted back in there, and uh, it's offset to the left a little bit, and uh, hopefully we get another one here. Take advantage any chance you get to pick up some fur that uh, put a few more dollars in your pocket, and there's a lot of benefits to have the bait and the glands. Um, so that helps out uh, the local population, and uh, we'll get ready to move on. Let's take a look at the North American Trapper Product Spotlight. Well, this week on the North American Trapper Product Spotlight, I want to talk to you about our Mountain Man Predator Bait and our Mattis Predator Lure. And they work well together and they work well separately as well. Our Mountain Man is four equal parts of ground Angus beef, ground fresh prairie dog, ground rendered prairie dog, and ground poultry. And that's four equal parts, and it's mixed with some other ingredients, and it's just really, really a good meaty bait that's gonna draw those predators into your sets when you're out there in the field. And our madness is a lure that has a skunk essence to it. We do have skunk in this, but the skunk does not overpower it. It actually, you can smell the skunk, but you can also smell the other layers that are in our madness lure. And you can use the mountain man by itself in one of your dirt holes, or you can use the mountain man with the madness in a dirt hole, or you can just use the madness in a dirt hole. So you have a bunch of different options with our baits and lures. So if you get an opportunity, go to NorthAmericanTrapper.com, check out our Mountain Man, our madness, and all of our other baits and lures, and I'm sure you're going to find something that's going to help you be more successful next time you go in the field. 
Handling nest raiders is our specialty, and you can become the steward of your own land with our North American Trapper Scent Package, which includes our Coon Buster DP bait and magnet trailing scent. Our sweet-scented trailer will draw them in where our Coon Buster will then take over, and its soaked crawfish essence will entice those nest raiders to work the trap consistently. Look no further than our North American Trapper Combo Scent Package for all your predation control needs. North American Trapper. Proven products. Proven conservation. Welcome back to Duke Trap's presentation of North American Trapper with Alan Probst. Well, we connected here. Uh, well, he's in there good. That 550, good front pad catch uh, in that Duke 550. But uh, it's always nice to come in here and see one. Uh, this situation here is really good because uh, there's a field edge here that comes off of this hill. And what we're using as bait is the farmer's turkeys and ducks that he has up here actually Eddie had a phone call from one of his friends and these coyotes are coming in here harassing their uh, turkeys and their their geese and their ducks that they have over there by the house and he's like you know you need to come over here and get these coyotes and we got over here today and had uh, had one in we put this in about two days ago and we've had some action quickly it actually had a coyote step on one of my other sets and just missed the pan but um, he'll be back and I'm sure we'll get more here But this is a really good situation. Not only are we using their livestock as a natural bait to come in here, but This nice little rolling hill funnels off into this field right here It works down along this edge row and these coyotes. There's a lot of uh, You know coyote scat and sign along this field edge and ultimately we come in here today and and got ourselves a nice dog you know for all you farmers ranchers homeowners alike out there uh, if you're putting these sets in the ground you're going to catch these animals there's not a lot to it uh, i'm going to show you the remake here you're just going to bed that trap properly that's 99 percent of the equation when it comes to catching these animals and taking them out of the population bed that trap properly have something down in the hole that entices that animal to come in there and investigate it that's my first coyote that I've ever caught in the Adirondack, so that's kind of one off the bucket list for me. And it gives me a, a zest for the spirit of the outdoors going through the rest of the day. We got a lot of traps to check, and we got fisher sets, but we're out here uh, starting the day off with a real nice coyote. Get him taken care of, and then I'm going to show you the remake, how you just bed that trap properly, get something in the hole, and you're going to be successful as well. These 550s uh, bed really nice also because they have those heavy cast jaws, double base plated. They're going to uh, bed down in the ground nicely for us here on this remake. Uh, one good thing about these also is they have that night latch. You can hear that little click, that means it's ready to go. But uh, we'll get that back in here. All I did was have that back about seven to eight inches from the hole make a place to bed the trap and that's going to fit right down in there nicely now, as you can see that's in there pretty good already but we're going to take this surrounding dirt as i said we always want to pack that trap in we want to get that in there as tight as we can and then when we get that in there to where that's bedded anywhere you step on that trap anywhere around it doesn't wobble and that's the key that i was talking about earlier 99 percent of your problems as a predator trapper or a trapper in general can be cleared up by just bedding your trap properly and we got our dirt hole back here get that back down in there this is actually our backing he's got that chewed up that's what we were using for the backing but uh, that's pretty much all there is to the remake. We're going to get a pan cover here. And we're going to get some of this dirt. And sift over it. And that's pretty much all there is to redoing that. We got this uh, about a half inch of dirt over the trap. Now as you see here, I got a little bit of hump here, 
and I'm creating the momentum of that animal to go and step in to work that hole. I like pretty much every set that I make, I want to have some momentum of that animal reaching in and putting his foot down in there. And that's what I have with this little hump that surrounds the area with our clump here. That animal's going to work and he's going to work that to uh, come in there and work the bait. Put some of our mountain man bait down in the hole there. That's what we want for that. The mountain man, that's what we had here. We had the mountain man with uh, our madness lure and we're just going to put some of that get us a stick right here some of our madness lure which has a really good skunk smell and a bunch of other layers coming out of there put that right on the backing and down in the hole and that's pretty much all there was to it just uh put a little dirt covering over the the bait in the back and that is pretty much ready to go for the next coyote that comes through here. You know, I hope you enjoyed that today. I definitely want to thank Eddie again for inviting me up there to the Adirondacks to go out there on his predator line. And uh, ultimately, we showed you the methods and techniques that can help you catch these predators anywhere across the country. Uh, we're doing this in the fall, and, and ultimately, there are seasons in the spring, and I'd highly recommend, no matter where you're at, if you have an opportunity to get out there in the spring and catch some of these predators, it's going to help those you know, ground nesting birds. It's going to alleviate a lot of the pressure off of them, especially Especially when they're you know having their clutches and it's just going to allow you to have more game birds as time goes on if you need any products for that make sure you stop by northamericantrapper.com we got packages baits lures pretty much everything you're going to need to be successful when you go in the field proven products equals proven conservation and we'll see